all know, I am a very educated, scholarly, intellectual. So I am here today to do some book reviews on none other than my fellow YouTubers. Just a couple. You know, I saw Shane Dawson do a video like this and I thought it was hilarious, so I figured why not do one myself? I think I am one of the very last YouTubers who hasn't written a book, so naturally I have taken it upon myself to review all the other ones that have. I have not actually read any of these books, I haven't even opened any of them. First off, Follow Me by Ricky Dillon. Ricky is a good friend of mine. All that matters is if I'm in it. If not, we are no longer friends. So I'm gonna open up to a page and just read a little bit. Page 155. How many pages are there? Damn. Wait, what's the last sentence of the book? Oh, they're all thank yous. That's... <gasps> Wait, there's me! <laughs> to all my other friends from YouTube, it's weird for me to call you YouTube friends because at this point in my life, practically all my friends are from YouTube. Jen, Andrea, Jack, Andrew, Rebecca, Anthony, Colleen, blah, 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 blah. All that matters is I'm in there. Five stars. This next story is mildly pathetic. Oh, this is sad. Oh my God, he literally told me this story today on Apologies in Advance. Hashtag Apologies in Advance on full screen now. Make sure you watch. Next, they let me write a book by Jamie Curry. I had the same reaction. A fucking course. There's a fucking picture of Jamie holding up a sign that says 10, 10 million. Every time I see Jamie, she reminds me that she is 10 million followers. And I do not. I'm gonna open up to your random page. I don't want to keep going on about how much it sucks to be friends with me. <laughs> she really did write this book, but it really actually sucks being friends with me. If you were thinking of trying to be friends with me, run a million miles in the opposite direction. I'm bad news, your life will suck. Jamie! <sighs> It's so accurate. Five stars, five stars. Oh wait, there's a quiz. How did I get kicked out of school? You got kicked out of school? What's the answer? Tomato sauce, what? Now I wanna know. <laughs> what? I got both of Shane's books, It Gets Worse and I Hate My Selfie. I remember at one point running out of real food, so I started eating condiments and spices. You haven't lived until you've had ketchup pepper soup. You guys know how much I despise ketchup. That makes me want to die a little bit. Okay, let's go on. Every time I would go to a friend's house, I couldn't even focus on the games we were playing because I was thinking about what they had in their kitchen. I had one friend who always stocked up on name brands like Pop-Tarts and Coca-Cola, unlike my house, which had generic brands. I fucking feel that. Wow. My mom always had like the, the Kroger brand of cereals. And then when I went to my friend's house and they had real frosted mini flakes or whatever they were called, it was like fucking Christmas morning. Feel that? I feel that. I'm gonna go with four stars because Fuck your ketchup soup. I'm sure it's really five stars. I just fucking make ketchup. I'm sorry, Shane. Redeem yourself, Shane. Redeem yourself. Oh my god, wait, is this like a novel? Wait, no. Wait, what? 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 Okay. It was a warm September evening in 2006 and I was lying in my bed with my pants off and the door locked. Sounds a lot like my life every day. The steam coming off my sweaty fat body had fogged up the windows and turned my bedroom into a hotel resort sauna. <laughs> Except instead of fancy wood paneled walls covered in Asian inspired artwork, picture if you will, absotol, ab, as, abestos, abestos? Stay in school, kids. Filled walls covered in termites and Hillary Duff movie posters. Titanic was on and had just gotten to the scene where they have really hot, intense sex in the back of a car. Does that happen in Titanic? I don't remember that happening. Maybe that's when my parents made me close my eyes or something. Above this little section of the book, there's an urban dictionary definition for chub rub. Five stars! Next up, really professional internet person by Jen McAllister. I think I'm in this one. Am I in here? This video has turned into me trying to find myself in YouTubers books because I'll never write my own. <laughs> Mom, Jenny. Wait, there I am. One time, Andrea and I hosted one of the fiestas and the boys left us to clean up all the dirty dishes. That's true, fuck you guys. We started a prank war and got back at them by breaking into their house and covering the whole thing with silly string. They were so angry and I felt bad and helped clean it all up, but it was so funny and definitely worth it. They were so angry. They were so angry. I said, y'all gotta chill. Top 10 things nobody will care about when you leave high school. Whether or not you had a boyfriend. I never had a boyfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I did. Shout out to you, Pat. Jen's book is so soft. The pages are so soft. I think that alone makes it get five stars. Nicely done, Jen. Me, reviewing books by reading absolutely none of it unless my name is in it. Five stars! Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Maddie B, that's a wrap. 13 year old rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. Words from the heart. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking good, I feel it. I'ma put my heart in it and I'ma win it. 
God, I love Maddie B. No regrets, it's true. I will never forget the moment I first met you. Is this fucking Shakespeare? The beauty of youth, who says it doesn't matter what my age is. Don't we all grow up to be the same kids? No, actually no. We don't. A kid who has never seen a crowd this big. Can't hide that I need her by my side. Dude, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Oh my god, this is the best fucking line in the book. Just turned 10 and time to raise the bar again. <sighs> I don't know how to accurately rate this book because I am shooky to the core. This book loves you. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now rock bottom. Retweet. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Unless you don't have any friends, then just sit in a corner and cry. If you don't win, you lose. Just checking to see if you knew. Is this book just like killing everyone's confidence. You may not be strong, you may not be good enough, you may never even be a decent person. I forget the rest. Okay, yeah, so this book is pretty much just reminding me how shitty and awful you are. I like it. Five stars. All right, up next, Binge by Tyler Oakley. It's hardback, which means I like it already. This is a lot of words. This is where the picture's at. Oh wait, I saw my name. I saw my name. I know it's definitely not me. <laughs> Ten years later, while I was innocently pole dancing at a seedy gay bar in Michigan, I bumped into Andrea. That's my name. Definitely not actually me, although I wish it was. But that's my name! When you read in a book and you find your name. And to that I say five stars. Honestly, they all get five stars. I don't know how to fucking judge a book. I won't judge a book by its cover. I'll open up the first page, read a few sentences, and then judge it. They all get five stars. Except for Shane's where he said he ate ketchup soup. I can never forget that and I'll never get that mental image out of my brain and I want to die thinking about it. I hope that was somewhat entertaining for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment. What do you want to see me do next time? Books for all! That wasn't very smart, Andrea. Okay.